Hollister, my restaurant, and it is really an awesome place to be. And we're doing our live show, so hello to all of you out there watching right now. We really appreciate it, and thank you all for being here. We love to have an audience for our show. Don't forget that during the show, if you have a question, just raise your hand or yell it out of the and we'll have a chat while we're doing that. And you folks out there, too, I said anything you have, any questions, I, I think Elizabeth's probably watching, and Chris, and he can let me know if you have a question. So, thank you for coming to Fast, Easy, and Delicious. Let's talk. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to get the rice going, because the rice is going to take, about the time you get everything else done, the rice will be done. Rice cookers are your friends. Thank you. They're friendly, friendly. Okay, let's put, I have two and a half cups of rice. Now, I'm doing a lot of rice today, because this is also our restaurant special today. So, dump that in. This is so easy, you guys. Now, when you have rice, anybody have a rice cooker out there? I used to. Oh, gosh, you got to get a rice cooker. I'm putting five cups of water. Two to one on the rice. So, two and a half cups of, of rice, five cups of water. I'm putting some butter because this is my buttered rice, which is so delicious. Buttered rice, it's just, it just adds, it's not just plain. You got a little bit of a salty taste, a little bit. It's really good. And I am going to put a tiny bit of salt. Now, those of you who know me know I don't use a lot of salt because of my Meniere's disease, but you can always add salt. You can't take it out, right? So it's easier to put a little bit than too much, and that's what I do. Now, I'm going to push that down. I'm going to put the lid on. Bye-bye. <laughs> don't even have to worry about that again. That's all. Awesome. That's it. All right, we're back on. We're back on. Hello again. Sorry about the little glitch there, but we're here. We're still here going, you guys. I'm also going to put in, yeah, let's, let's just put it in there. I have bell pepper, onion, and um, I have two kinds of onion. I have white onion and red onion, and I have yellow, red, and green bell pepper. And it just makes it pretty. In fact, I mean, although if you taste bell peppers, you know that the red tastes different than the yellow, they yeah. different than the green. They have really different yeah. tastes. And so it is a nice variety. And here at the restaurant, we always use, like we, they call them, they, they call them um, street light bell peppers. So it's got the red, green, you know, it's got like a street light. And so we use those all the time. Now here in a minute, it kind of starts smelling bacon. <laughs> and isn't that an amazing smell? No problem there. <laughs> no problem there. But it's, so, it's such a, gosh, it's such a unique smell. So we're going to let this cook down a little bit. While this is cooking, I'm going to show you how I made my corn pudding. So it's not just a corn bread today, I made a corn pudding. And let me show you what you have to do. Now, fast, easy, and delicious. So I try to find ways to everything condensed. Time. You know what I mean? It's not going to take a long time to be whipping things up. No, I go like this. There you go, that first part. <laughs> and then I'm going to put, this is cream corn. About a half a can cream corn. This is about a half a can of whole kernel corn. Okay? Drain. You don't want the liquid. Okay? I'm going to put, and I always say clean as you go. Clean as you go. Then you know what? Clean up afterwards. Oh, it's so easy. If you do all these dishes and then you don't clean as you go and turn around, oh my gosh, you got a mess. I can't do things that way. So I always say, probably on every show I've ever done, which this is number 79, by the way. I'm very excited about that. It's just a clean as you go. It makes life really easy in the kitchen. Two eggs. And I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream, a little bit, maybe two tablespoons. And then I have two little packets, maybe you could do a tablespoon, but two little packets of sugar. And there's your corn pudding, okay? There you go, mix that all up. I've already got a buttered pan. And Anytime I make cornbread, corn pudding, whatever, I really butter the pan and want that flavor on the bottom, okay? So there you go. 
Alright, my bacon's looking great. Can you smell it yet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's almost ready for me to add my meat. Now, today I'm using ground turkey because that's what I eat. But you can use, obviously, you can use ground beef. You can use ground chicken, whatever ground meat you like, you can use in this recipe. But I can tell you the cowboys probably weren't doing ground turkey. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> so, all you cowboys out there, past and present and future, my apologies for using my ground turkey, but <laughs> and ground turkey is a heck of a lot of it. All right, before I even pour this in, by the way, the oven's going to be on 325, and it takes about 30 minutes or less. Got to really check. Depending on your oven, you know, all ovens, ovens are different, so check your oven. And uh, anyway, 25, 30 minutes. I washed my hands before I came out, and any good cook knows to do that, right? All right. Shrugged my hands out before I came out here. All right. So out there, guys, we're hoping you're doing well. And if you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, let us know. And remember, while you guys are on, um, we have 78 prior episodes which is on right now on that TV back there. Um, make sure you're liking and subscribing my channel. That would be very wonderful. And we would really appreciate that. Also, as you can see here at the restaurant, I've got cookbooks here. We have two cookbooks. I have a third one that I'm working on in my spare time. <laughs> when I do have a few minutes, I do put new stuff in there. I may have, I don't know, maybe if I put it all together right now, maybe 10 pages. There's not enough for us. Cookbook. All right, I'm going to let this cook. But while I'm doing that, I'm going, I'm using this one, by the way. I don't want my own yet. I'm using my, I like the California blend garlic sauce. Okay? And it's got garlic powder. It's got salt. It's got parsley. It's got everything that I want in it all in one, and it's a great seasoning, and you don't need extra salt. There's enough salt in that, plus your garlic powder and everything, that you don't need to use much of anything else, to be honest with you, except a little pepper. I like black pepper in food, and the cowboys were not afraid to put black pepper in their food. Okay, black pepper's great. For my salads here at the restaurant, I always put a little bit of black pepper just to give it a little, that little tiny taste, that little tiny zing in there, but not hot. This is different. That's another thing. If you put too much pepper, you're going to taste pepper. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like pepper, but not that much. All right. This is doing great. I'm going to turn this down a little and let that cook. Okay, mind you, I'm not using this hand because that's what I touch the meat with. But You've got some ahead. sanitizer behind you when you're ready. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, I do. Where it's right, right okay, there. Good. Put it right I, I will use that. <laughs> okay, so here goes my beautiful core. And I'm not left-handed. You see that? I'm like, what is this? Okay. <laughs> Hold on a minute because I'm really not doing well here with the... Uh, all right, here we go. I'm going to sanitize my hand. This can go in the back. I'm not going to use that again. All right. And then, I'm going to smoosh that around. Look how pretty. That's just pretty. It's just a great, and it becomes, the texture you'll see is very different than cornbread. It's a corn pudding. Okay, so now, this is doing beautifully. I don't know if you can see that. If you can smell that, it's really great. Now I'm going to start adding my beans. <coughs> so I have a variety of beans, but the base of this is going to be, it's a chili bean in a mild chili sauce. I've used this many times. This is delicious, and it makes a great pot of beans. It makes great cowboy beans. Pour in juice and all on this one. On the chili bean, you want every drop of the liquid, okay? Not all of it. I'm going to do two of those and see what I need here still. 
Because like I said, this is today's lunch special also. Hey, Ash, did you have a question or something? I saw you. Oh, no, I was going to say, I can mix it. You can wash your hands. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what, I, I took care of that with my sanitizer, but thank you. That's my daughter, Ashley. Joe, my grandkids are here. My daughter, Elizabeth, you know Elizabeth from being here. <laughs> Ashley is in the number one hits of the 60s show. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes, there you go. Thanks for mentioning that, Georgia. What's that? The be boat best of Branson. Yes, she's, <laughs> yes. she's on the best of Branson list for the best female vocalist. Wow. And since the time she was a little tiny girl, she would be singing and dancing. She loved Michael Jackson. She was doing all these moves. She was very tiny doing that. And we kind of knew when she was growing up, she's going to do something in the industry. And then what, about 12 years ago, Ash? Yeah. 12 years ago, she had an opportunity to come out here. And um, the very first show that she auditioned for was number one hits of the 60s and got in. Now, what are the chances of coming someplace you've never been before and auditioning? And that was the one and only audition and she got in the show. So it's pretty amazing. And she's worked with some wonderful people, the folks at the number one hits, which I'm plugging them because it's an amazing, how many people have seen that show? Yep. <laughs> it's, just, it's just such an amazing show. You know every song, you know, you're sitting there singing and dancing. And, you know, at, and I just knew that at some point in her life, Ashley was going to be a part of the industry and here she is 12 years later. Now she's got three beautiful babies. There's artists. That's my grandson, Shawnee. That's Elizabeth's son. Where are the other two girls? One's at NM's and one's at home with dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Mom got a little bit of a break today. All right, that's good. Okay, I'm going to add about a half a can of black beans. This I did drink. Okay, half a can, let's see, a little bit more. You guys like black beans? I love it. Navy beans. Oh, these are great northern beans. I did drain most of the liquid. And good old pinto beans. Pinto beans, minto beans. You know that song back then? If you see that you need liquid, add it. You could at this point um, add like a can of tomatoes or any kind of a liquid that you want. I'm just going to add water because I want this flavor right here. So I'm not going to add anything but some water. And we get hot water straight from our hot water thingy up there. <laughs> that would be the place to get hot. And there you get. Yeah. That's where you get hot <laughs> water. <laughs> Hello, come on in. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful meal right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do with dessert is I, I just made um, cowboy days. They had nature berries and stuff like that so i just decided to stick with the theme and do a dessert that i felt was fitting so i went ahead and i made just a plain yellow cake okay and then i'm going to and i added some mixed berries to some whipped topping okay and then i have another little topping right there I'm going to squish that down. Okay. Another little drop of that. And then I'm going to add some whipped cream, right? That looks delicious. Whipped cream. And this is what I'm saying. Easy dessert. You know, frozen mixed berries. Okay. Cool whip. Yellow cake. And then you've got a beautiful parfait dessert that really happens in minutes. A little cream on the top little berries on top of that and look at that beautiful little dessert right and that's what you're going to be having for dessert today is some that pasta so here girls i want you miley or ashley you can start doing this for me i'm going to have ashley start putting desserts together and we can hand those out now it's up to you whether you want to eat dessert first or wait that's totally up to you guys okay i think this is done we can start serving this Ooh, that looks amazing Okay, we, we're probably going to have to not forego the rice, but I'm going to let you guys try this. And then when the rice is done in a couple of minutes, I'll give some out. But um, anyway, that's our meal today. Thank you for being here today and fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. We really appreciate it. We love 
folks to come in and be a part of the live. Let's get those folks one more time, oh, yeah. Chris. You betcha. Wave to everybody out there, if you will. We appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> and you guys will see you September 4th for the next show for my birthday month. And we're going to be doing pasta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be doing pasta next month. So if you go to the website, you see pork chops. Just just ignore it. I'm going to change that. Anyway, you guys out there have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us today. Ladies, enjoy the meal and thanks for being Thank here. And have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.